guys, it feels so good to be filming right now, you don't even know. Um, my camera had been gone to be repaired for the past, like, three, two, two to three weeks, um, if you already knew that, and I got it back over the weekend, and it just feels so good to have it back because I was looking at the videos that I filmed using the camcorder that we just bought, and I really didn't like the color, the, like, just the video quality, like, it just wasn't as good as I thought it would be, even though it was HD. So I'm so super happy to have my lens back. So not only is my lens back, but other good news, um, the holidays have officially started for me. I don't know, like, after Remembrance Day, I just totally get into the holiday spirit. And you can see that because my room is decorated with tinsel. Can you, can you see that, guys? It's really sad, you know, but I make up for it. Just wait. Just, just wait. So this is my little Santa cone. <laughs> I got it from Superstore and I actually tweeted a picture of it. Um, if you don't already follow my Twitter, you can go follow me. I will link it below in the description box. And it's Santa. I thought it was so adorable, you guys. His little beard and his hat. Oh, I just thought it was so cute. It's it's just like a cone decoration, but I thought it was absolutely adorable, so I had to pick it up. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started. My first fave polish. These are kind of, actually they, I won't put them in order, but I will tell you which one is definitely my favorite because I have one that's beyond my favorite. This one, unfortunately, isn't my favorite, but I still love it regardless. It is the OPI um, nail polish in number one nemesis now this polish is such a beautiful color because um it's kind of your typical uh silver with tons of sparkles polish but i just i, I never like those colors like i never like the silvers that have a bunch of like tiny tiny glitters in them but this one it was so cute it is from their spider-man collection and as soon as i saw it i'm like bam I'm totally buying it. Now, um, I did a picture swatch of this on Tumblr if you want to go check it out. But pretty much, I just love this because there's so much glitter in it. Like, I really hope it shows up on camera. But, um, yeah, it's just such a pretty color because it, it has a lot of glitter. But at the same time, it's not like a glitter based polish. So, you know how hard it is to take glitter off your nails? I'm pretty sure... It's like a common thing that it's super hard to get off when you have glitter nail polish on. So this is perfect because it has so much glitter inside of it, but at the same time, it just comes right off like a normal polish. So I definitely love this one. Alright, so my second fall polish pick is the Sally Hansen's Insta Dry Nail Color in 350 Wind Up. Now, this is such a beautiful color because it is kind of, it's a oxblood color and you guys know how like popular oxblood is for the fall. And I love it because it has, it's kind of a pearlescent color and it just, the formula, it's an instant dry and it's so great because it dries up really quick and you only need like, one coat is even good enough. I usually go for two, but like with one coat, it the formula is amazing. I love the Sally Hansen ones, and they're so inexpensive. I'm pretty sure they're one of the most inexpensive drugstore brands ever, which is amazing because they rock, and I love them. So this is my second um, polish pick. All right, next I have the L'Oreal Nail Polish in 580 Stroke of Midnight. Now, um, I'm actually not sure how much this polish is, but it's a drugstore brand, so I highly doubt it's more than 6 or $7. Alright, so the only difference between this one and the one that I just showed you guys, the Sally Hansen Wind Up one, is um, that this one is not a pearlescent color. It's just a solid, dark um, reddish brown. I would say it's even a darker red than the Sally Hansen one. And the reason I love this is because, um, its formula is absolutely fantastic. Like, the pigmentation in it is amazing. Um, it's super opaque, so you don't need more than even one coat of this, um, which is perfect in my opinion. And, yeah, the color just goes with a lot of things, and it's, it's like a dark, warm color. I don't know, I just really like the color. I don't know how to describe it to you guys, 
But yeah, it's just a beautiful color. Alright, so the polishes that I've been showing you guys are definitely darker polishes. They don't have much color to them. So I'm super happy to introduce these next two polishes. Um, the first one is the Rimmel London Lasting Finish Pro in Wild Orchid 370. And I um, love this polish. I talked about it in one of my monthly favorites. I'm not quite sure which one. But um, I love this because it says up to 10 days lasting. And it lasts a super long time. Um, it lasts way beyond that if you wear a top coat with it. And um, I just really like the color. Like I know that no one really wears pastels in the fall. But I just... I love it because it gives color to any outfit you wear and I just love that about it. So this is why, this is my fourth pick, actually in no particular order, but fourth of what I'm showing you guys. Okay, so my last and very favorite of out of all of these polishes is the Essie Plumberry. Now I talked about this one in one of my monthly favorites too, but I cannot talk about this enough. Like anyone who asks, what's your favorite polish or what are you wearing because I wear this so much um I always say Essie Plumberry like it's such a pretty color it's a how to describe it it's kind of a pink magenta-ish color it's oh it's a berry color right that's how I describe it it's a berry it's such a pretty berry color it's like a pinkish reddish purplish berry color it's just so hard to describe but it's such a nice color and again just like the one I previously showed you guys I love this because it adds a pop of color to any outfit and it goes with a lot of different colors as well